All right, so if we're going to program in a thermally thin equation, typically this is for less than one millimeter thick with no thermal conductive backing. So we have our equation here. We could do an example where we had how long would it take for a, a 0.5 millimeter thick initially at 298 under heat flux of 20 kilowatts per meter squared. We look at the critical heat flux. That's less than the incident heat flux. 16 is less than 20. So then all we need to do is program in, we have all our, our givens here, so we program in our equation. So first in, we program in our, I'll make this a little bigger so everybody can see it. We're going to do the critical for this given type of a fuel is 16 kilowatts per meter squared and our incident is 20 and since the incident is greater than the critical we move forward so the density rho is 640 kilograms per meter cubed the specific heat Assuming it's constant is 2.85 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Our thickness for this example is 0.5 millimeters. So this is uh, equals 0 0.5 divided by 1,000 go to meters. Our ignition temperature is 663 Kelvin. Oops. Our initial temperature is 298. And then that's all we need. So our, our time for ignition is equal to the density times the specific heat times the thickness times the quantity the ignition temperature minus the initial temperature divided by the incident heat flux. And that should give us, oh, I broke it. Ah, I forgot to put a times here. You can't just put a parentheses. 16.6. .6. So this is, um, if we make the thermally thick one 20, you get 56, which is our example, and the thin one using the same wood is 16. So the thins are going to ignite you know, four times faster than the thick, which is what we would expect.